All right, today I want to talk to you about synephrine. And I really like this synephrine supplement because it's a non-stimulant upon your heart rate or your lungs. So if somebody is very sensitive to stimulants such as caffeine or it, this is it, its big brother, ephedrine, then this is the supplement that you want to be taking. Now, synephrine is not to be mistaken with the, um, the synephrine that they would be injecting into uh, patients when they're trying to revive them. This is an all natural supplement. Why they share the name, I guess, because of what it does uh, within your ad uh, adrenal glands, whereas it, it, it tells your adrenal glands to um, like perk up and let's start to use fat as fuel. So synephrine comes from the bitter orange peels, as you can see here. And there's three major cells that get attacked within your body or get worked within your body. Number one is your beta one, two, and three cells. So beta one is within the heart rate itself. And so if you're looking to um, get a boost of energy, if you're looking to get your heart rate up so that you can work out harder and longer, then you would want to affect the beta one cells. That's what ephedrine does. The beta two cells are within your lungs. So if you're looking to breathe better, if you're looking to expand your, your lungs and your bronchioles, then you would work within the beta two cells. Right. You know, if you can breathe better, if your if your heart rate is higher and it's being affected faster, then you know that you're going to have a, a better exercise. Right. Like you're going to have a better workout. And then number three is your beta cell, which is it, it demands the demand within the fat cell to be released as fuel. So your fat cells will start releasing fat as fuel. And that's basically what we all want if we're trying to get lean. Ephedrine works on all three of those very well. Now, synephrine doesn't affect the beta one, the heart rate, does not affect the beta two, the bronchioles. It only works within the fat cell itself. So for anybody that is, is hesitant to have a stimulant, like a higher stimulant, such as ephedrine, then synephrine is your best option for that. And actually, I've combined the both and uh, just based on the science behind synephrine, it's a great combination where I don't need as much ephedrine. I could take synephrine and my heart rate wouldn't go up, but my, the, my ability to burn fat goes up. So I like the combo of the two. But what I really like is the combo of synephrine, ephedrine, and leaner. But again, if you're worried about your heart rate and your, your lung rate, then I would just take the leaner and take the synephrine. Now, synephrine works only on the beta-3 cells, works in the fat. Now, here's what it does without diet, without exercise, and without combining it with, with leaner or caffeine, is that the, the, the journal articles that I've read is that they've taken case studies and they've had them take between 50 and 60 milligrams of synephrine alone every day. They did this for eight weeks. And what they have found that the people that were taking synephrine versus the people that weren't taking any extra supplements, they burnt an extra 65 calories per day. Now, if you break this down, it's 65 calories per day. That's 455 calories a week. It takes 3,500 calories for you to uh, burn one pound. Okay. So if you were just to take this supplement alone by itself without dieting, without exercising, without caffeine, then you're looking at in eight weeks, you should see a one pound fat loss. Okay. Now, if you start to stack in the, the caffeine, uh, they say that the caloric daily burn goes up. So anywhere from 80 to hundred extra calories per day. Now, because of the fat burning properties, such as green tea, uh, also the uh, appetite suppressant, and then the caffeine that sits within leaner, that would actually help you to burn anywhere from 100 to 120 calories extra per day. And that's without exercise. Now you factor in exercise, you factor in clean eating, you could be burning an extra 100. And if you did the, the leaner, if you did the, uh, you know, extra, the, the, high, the, the 30 minute burst workouts, and then if you did, uh, you know, started cleaning up your eating, you could be burning an extra 150 to 200 calories per day. Again, 3,500 calories uh, per week gets you that one pound loss and specifically targeting body fat. So this is a great supplement for that. Now, how would you take this? Okay, you would take two tabs every day, regardless of if you're working out or not. Now, synephrine is known to, 
to work more effectively if you take it in and around when you're most moving, okay? So obviously if you're working out, that's probably the most amount of vigorous movement that you're gonna do throughout the day. Now, if you're not working out, then I would just take it first thing in the morning for when you're walking around doing daily household stuff. This is the non-stimulant. So you can basically take this at any time. So, but I wouldn't recommend taking it before you go to bed because it's, it's an adrenaline booster, meaning it's gonna like raise the metabolism and it might give you a little bit more energy because it's demanding more fuel from your fat. So I wouldn't recommend taking it later at night. The earlier, the better for this. When you're at night, you should be focusing on your recovery supplements and you should be focusing on your sleep supplements, such as sleep for, for ZMA, melatonin, for recover, recover, tissue rejuvenator, and fish oils. Like that's all you should be taking at night. During the day is when you want to get your metabolism boosters to give you energy and to, uh, you know, to wake you up. So you would take two tablets for 30 days straight in and around a workout or your most movement of the day. So it's easiest just to take it first thing in the morning. You're going to take it for 30 days straight. Then you're going to take seven days off. After that, you're going to get back on it and you're going to repeat that three times. So you're going to take it pretty much for three months and three weeks, okay? So you're, you're two tabs a day for 30 days straight, take a seven day break. And I always like a seven day break because I allow, I like my, my body to kind of do its, do its job on its own. And people will be like, well, why are you taking supplements on purpose? Well, because I want to enhance. It's like, well, why do you put mayo on your, on your burger? Why do, you, why do you dip your French fries in, in ketchup? It, it's, it's an enhancer right? Like, yeah, I can enjoy a French fry by itself, but it's a little bit better with ketchup. So supplements are going to help you to boost you a little bit more. And for anybody that is anybody that is in a, and um, if they've already been affected with So I always like to take a seven day break, because it allows the body to um, kind of do its own thing. But again, if, if you've been in a constant fat gaining, weight gaining state for a very long time, sometimes you need that bit of a boost just to get everything back on track. Is this a, is this a forever supplement or supplements forever? No, they're a choice. Okay. But they're going to definitely enhance and help you to get to your goals a lot faster. So, so you would take it two tabs a day, 30 days straight, seven days off, do this for three months, then take a month off and then rinse and repeat until you get to the body fat that you feel is appropriate to the body fat that you're comfortable with and to the body fat that you are looking for.